This is a very important package. Okay, look, I'm six seconds into the video and I'm already having to stop it, so you know this is gonna be a mess. Hello? So before we get into the depths of this video, you might need to know what's going on because my silly goober self didn't even say what was happening or what was in the package. I got this big old giant black box. You don't even know what's in it. It could be anything. It could be drugs. It's not drugs. It's not. So I picked up a harness bar from Braum Racing for the 350, and I also picked up a harness as well in order to get ready for this drift event. That's what you need to know. I'm sorry for interrupting you and making it take way too long. Now back to the awesome content that you were previously watching. All right, so there's a harness bar, all in one piece, pretty good packaging. So I guess let's just get this thing opened up first. All right, so here's everything laid out, the harness bar, the other pieces to the harness bar that I believe attach down here. Off the main part, um, still not sure what these are for. And then the hardware. I'm not even sure what all I've said about it before this because I've been so caught up with trying to figure out where my harnesses are. But this is a Braum Racing harness bar that I picked up for about $250. I think it was closer to 300 after tax and shipping and everything. Um, gonna be putting it in the Z today, obviously. Now the reason I picked up this harness bar is because I'm attending Lone Star Drift in Houston in about three weeks from now. And, and I was originally just going to continue to rock my stock seat belts, but after I picked up this Corbo seat for real cheap on Facebook Marketplace, I decided, hey, what the heck, if I got the seat, might as well rock the harnesses too. So I spent a bunch of money that I didn't have and here we go. So I got the harness bar. Harnesses are on the way. I was hoping I would be able to get them all in today, but it is what it is. The harnesses I picked up, I'll show you more about them later once I actually get them in the mail, but they are five point harnesses from NRG. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all I know about them. I mean, they're just plain old five point harnesses. But you may be wondering if I uh, know how to install a harness bar. And the answer is no. I have no idea how to install a harness bar. You might be able to tell that whenever I said I don't even know what these are. These are probably obvious. Some kind of clamp. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna get this harness bar in here so that we can be ready for the harnesses when we get them. So I'm gonna start out by, I guess, piecing it all together with these smaller pieces. Probably gonna have to find some instructions. And then I believe I'm gonna have to take out one of my seats so that I can actually fit the bar into the car since it will be snug. But yeah, I'll be back in a second whenever I figure out what I'm doing. So I got the entire harness bar together, which was literally just using the four bolts provided and bolting on these extra two pieces. So now that we got it all together, um, it's ready to bolt up and the two front ends are going to bolt up to the existing spot where the seat belts bolt on and these back two are going to bolt in down here. There's one spot here and then there's one spot on the other side. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is remove the bolts for the seat belts and go ahead and bolt up from front. And then after I have the front bolted up, I'm going to figure out exactly how I'm going to do the back and then get the rest of it bolted up. And then it should be as easy as that. Now, originally I thought I was gonna have to remove my seat because that's what I'd seen other people do, but I was actually able to squeeze the harness bar in through the trunk right here. So I don't think I'm actually gonna have to do that, which is pretty cool to me. So I believe this cover right here should just pop off. And then this should be a 14 mil. All right, so over here on the passenger side, this bolt ended up getting stripped somehow, which really sucks. Um, so I went in with just the regular socket wrench and I cranked it down as tight as I could possibly get it by hand. And it's pretty sturdy. I mean, should be fine. Now the other side, um, it went on just normally, it's all good. So what I was doing wrong at first was that these little spacers in here, um, I was assuming that they, did not go on because of how I was originally trying to put them on, which was just the incorrect way. But I figured out how they were actually meant to go on. So you do need those spacers. They just have to go after the harness bar. So it has to go bolt and then washer, whatever. Then the seat belt, then the harness bar. 
and then the spacer. And that's how it goes on. And I actually already came and bolted down this one back piece. So the whole right side is good. It's bolted on tight. Now all I have left to do is the driver side, which which is probably gonna be a pain because, because I had a bolt that I thought was the right size for the hole that it's supposed to bolt into. But as you can see, it was not the right size and I broke the head off inside the hole. So now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do about that. All right, so honestly, it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed the installation of my harness bar. Now, I was waiting on my harness to come in so that I could have it all installed in one video, but like I said, it's been two weeks and I still haven't got my harness in the mail. It's been a big hassle. They were apparently back ordered, so now I'm getting a refund on that one and I ended up ordering a different one. It's just been a big mess. But I do have the harness bar completely finished and installed, so I'll go ahead and show you guys that and we'll wrap up this video and the harness will just have to be in another video. So to point out the obvious, yes, I do have a fire extinguisher mounted on it now. That will be in another video here in a week or so, I'm not sure, but had to point that out because it obviously stands out. So I'm not sure what all I showed before, because um, as I said, it's been a while, but I do have this side of the harness bar bolted up completely to the hole that was already there and it already had this little like spacer bracket thing or whatever it's called can't really show you because all the carpet's in the way but yeah so that side's bolted up super solid good to go now this driver side is the side that was giving me a lot of trouble because i had stripped a bolt or i broke the head off of a bolt in the bolt that it was supposed to go in so i ended up getting a little bit crazy with it and i just cut a big hole in my trunk and i drilled a new hole to bolt the harness bar and i had to cut the hole so that i could slide a bolt up through the bottom put a nut on it and then we torqued it down and it has made this side super sturdy now it's super unfortunate that i had to cut that up but honestly it's not really going to matter it doesn't really affect too much and you can't see it anyway um, and also, yeah, I cut up my carpet a little bit just so that they would sit down nicer and looks pretty good. So yeah, this is what the harness looks like from the back. Looks really good. Now it did come with a Brom sticker, but it was super huge, so I didn't end up putting it on the harness bar. And this is what it looks like from the inside. Looks super nice, super happy with the quality. Definitely recommend Brom Racing. Now I just have to wait for my harness to get in the mail so that I can actually have use of this harness bar and I'm not really sure when that'll be. Haven't gotten my tracking information yet for my harness, but hopefully it won't be too long. So it has been probably like over a week since I recorded putting in the harness bar and I have just been waiting on my harness to get delivered this entire time. And the original one I actually ordered still has not been delivered. I actually had to call and I'm trying to get a refund for that one because the company is just Basically, they sold me something that they don't even have in stock and they said it's actually gonna be like two months before I can get it. So, so because the event is this weekend, I don't wanna wait two months. So I went ahead and I bought a new harness and it has already been delivered in less than a week. So here's the harness that I ended up picking up. It is the Corbo five point harness with the cam lock belt. It was about $260, I think, after shipping and tax and everything. It's 220 base price, so it was definitely more than I wanted to spend. I think the original harness I bought from NRG was about 140 and this one was 220 but I wanted to get it before the event and honestly this belt is going to go a lot better with my interior because of my Corbo seat so I'm happy about it and in the end I'm going to be glad that I went with this one over the NRG. But I don't want to waste any more time, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into getting this harness installed. Now, I don't really know exactly how to install a harness for the most part, so I've asked my friend to come over and help me because, because he's done this stuff before. And I'm kind of in a hurry to get this stuff in, and I want to get it done before I have to go do the other things I have to do, you know? All right, so my friend's been busy, so I'm still out here doing this by myself. I think I've got most of it laid out ready to start bolting everything back in i went ahead and took the seat out in order to get my lap belt bolted in where the seat bolts in and also my fifth point um you don't have to do that for these ones but obviously for the lap belts you do i went ahead and i got one of the shoulder straps halfway mounted up i was just kind of testing the the adjustment to make sure it was all gonna fit me and everything. But right now I'm 
just about ready to throw the seat back in, bolt the brackets back up with the lap belts on, and get it all fitted up. Now the fifth point is supposed to be bolted behind where your chest sits while you're sitting in your seat, but I'm going to mount it up temporarily right now, and later on I'm gonna come back and finish it when I have the proper hardware and have a better idea about how others do it in their Z's. So right now what I'm gonna do is actually just bolt the fifth point up here on the front seat mount. So it'll be bolted just like the lap belts will be. However, those will be on the rear two bolts and the fifth point will be on the front inside. Hopefully all that made sense, but with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get the seat back in here and bolt it all up and I'll come back to you guys whenever I'm doing the shoulder straps. So as you can see, I got the seat back in. I got both lap belts bolted up with the seat as you can see as well as the fifth point so now all we got to do is get the shoulder strap adjusted correctly so that they fit me and that's about it okay that was not fun doing that out here when it is about 95 degrees it was super hot kind of frustrating but i got it pretty good and i think it should work so this is the final product of the corvo five point racing harnesses in the z Now for one final test, let's make sure they fit. So I already know that the lap belt and the fifth point fit and I'm pretty sure, uh, actually no, I'm gonna have to readjust this one because I adjusted it on the harness bar side. So I'm gonna have to loosen that up a little bit. I haven't adjusted the left side whatsoever. Well, it's actually pretty close already. All right, so as you can see, I'm all strapped in, it fits perfectly. I have it a little bit loosened up for daily driving because I don't wanna be super snug every time I'm getting in and out of the car. But when I go to the track this weekend, I'll definitely be tightening up until basically I'm uncomfortable. But one awesome thing that I wanna point out about this harness is that it has the cam lock latch system. I'm not even showing you guys, which is basically, it just buckles in like a regular seat belt and when you go to unbuckle it all you have to do is flip this to the side and it completely unbuckles so buckling it in like i said it's literally like a regular seat belt you just got to do it multiple times so let's see if i can do this with one hand it's going to be kind of difficult but you just take the buckle and you literally just shove it in there and it's tight so you do that with every single side and when you go to get out all you have to do again is flip this lever and you're unbuckled. It's super nice compared to the basic like latch and linker, I don't know what it's called, some kind of latch. It's much quicker and much easier to use than that system. It does cost a little bit more. I think the same exact four bow five point harness with the basic latch system was about $80 cheaper than this one, but I had to splurge and I had to get the nice one and basically future proof it because I knew I was gonna want this one in the long run, so I went ahead and got it. So there's one last step that I gotta do before this job is completely done, and that is that I'm going to roll up this excess slack, and then I'm gonna put a zip tie through it so that instead of it just flopping around like this, it'll be a nicely rolled up. Sorry, my camera died, but basically, yeah, I'm gonna roll these up so it'll look super neat and clean, and I'm gonna do it on both of these shoulder straps as well as the lap belt down here. Probably not gonna worry about this lap belt because it's kind of tucked out of the way and it's kind of gonna be a pain in the ass. But if I can easily get to it, then yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. And lastly, I'm going to do the shoulder straps on the harness bar end so that they're not just flopping all around like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all that done and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the 100% finished product. And just like that, the harness and harness bar job is complete. We got all of the loose straps rolled up and zip tied up so that they look way nicer and cleaner and not just flopping all around. As you can see, we even did the lap belts. It's gonna be hard to see that one, but we even got in there and did that one even though no one's ever gonna see it. And then same thing on the back. Got the two rolled up back here so it looks clean. And from the back end, you can see the harness bar and the harness in all of its glory. 
10 out of 10 if you ask me. I'm not doing a driving review with the harnesses in. If you wanna see that and see how well they are, I mean, they're just normal harnesses, but if you just wanna see how they are, you're gonna have to wait a couple weeks and wait until I get this baby on the track and I'll probably talk about it then. But with that being said, I apologize if I rushed the second half of this video with the harnesses. I just have stuff to do tonight and I really wanted to get these in today and we accomplished that goal. However, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to drop a like. It helps my video out, helps boost it for the algorithm and helps it reach more people and helps me grow. I always say help like a million times whenever I say that at the end of every video. But anyway, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. You don't want to miss out on this 350Z build. Why are there always going to be people in the room trying to like, film my TikToks? I mean, my YouTubes. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the awesome things coming with this Z. As I said earlier, we're going to be at the track in a couple of weeks, so you definitely don't want to miss out that. And watch me probably spin out a million times because I don't really know how to drift, so. Yeah, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.